At 5.30, we got Georgia Tech, who's 4-6, and six, traveling to number 13, UNC, who's 9-1. and one. UNC fair by 21 points on ESPN2. Jeff Sims for Georgia Tech has gone 110 and 188, thrown for 1,115 yards and five touchdowns, three interceptions. Likely will not happen for this game, though. Hassan Hall on the ground has had 101 carries for 473 yards, and Nate McCollum has had 54 catches for 590 yards and three touchdowns. Introducing everyone, Drake May, the guy I think deserves to win the Heisman. He has gone 253 of 361, thrown for 3,412 yards, 34 touchdowns, three interceptions. By the way, that is same amount of touchdowns as C.J. Stroud, one less interception than C.J. Stroud, and he's thrown for 700 more yards than C.J. Stroud. Just like to point that out. Also leads his team on the ground with 133 carries for 584 yards and five touchdowns. Likely won't get to that 1,000 yard mark unless he has an insane rushing day against Georgia Tech and NC State to close out the year but still amazing year for Drake May Josh Downs is also playing his way into a possibly getting drafted high 74 catches for 847 yards and 11 touchdowns Georgia Tech leads the series all time 31-21 actually last game went to Georgia Tech in 2021 last UNC was win was in 2019 last win time they won at Chapel Hill was in 2016 so I think what's going to be really interesting here is this is a big game for Georgia Tech, right? Like, if you lose this one, you're out of bowl game eligibility. And they were actually playing well for a certain stretch before they hit a rough stretch when they lost Jeff Sims. Um, they have been having a tough time trying to decide between who the two Zachs to start. I think it's pretty obvious for all Georgia Tech fans that it should not be Zach Gibson. But um, I think it's going to be a tough one. Um, remember, this is a... <laughs> Georgia Tech has a very slight chance of getting to bowl eligibility, though, because even if they do pull off a massive 21-point upset here, they play Georgia next week. That's a rough one. Um, I think UNC is an actual team. By the way, I think they control their own. They almost control their own destiny. Again, just got to hope USC loses. That's all you have to do if you're a UNC or Clemson fan, and you got to hope if you're a Clemson or a UNC fan that the other team stays undefeated. You want that win to be as strong as possible. So if you're UNC, you want Clemson to keep rising. That's your goal. Um, you got them to keep winning, and then you keep them to keep rising. Um, you, your goal is to keep winning and keep rising, and then you hope USC keeps losing and keeps falling.